Hello Lana, welcome to Irimi Production and in this tutorial I will show you how to use a spreadsheet in order to prepare a class inventory that is an inventory that will show the items found in our classrooms so in order to do this I'll use Microsoft Excel Microsoft Excel and uh, I've already opened it the program of, uh, you are seeing on the screen is Microsoft Excel. So I want us to learn just a few basics about Excel before we start. So you can see where it's written A, B, C, D, and so on alpha in alphabetical order. These are called columns. So this column A, column B, column C, column D, column E, column F. Then on the other side you can see one two three four five the serial numbers moving down so these are called rows rows so row one row two row three row four row five and they move down like that then you can see small rectangles or boxes these boxes or rectangles are called cells and this is where we write data and each cell has a name for example where i've clicked now this cell is called b3 the reason why it is called b3 because it is formed in column b and row 3 so once i click on a cell like that one up here you'll be able to see the name of the cell so this is cell c3 and it's also important to know these cells because they are the ones we use when you are calculating formulas so we write data in the cells so without wasting time i want us to prepare an inventory uh, that will show the items that are found in the classrooms so to begin with we are going to have a heading and where we are going to type name of school and for the name of school i'm just going to call our school bd primary school so i type bd primary school then i press enter then below the top uh, the name of the school i'll write the topic which is class inventory record class inventory record then i press again enter then now i'm going to put columns which are showing uh, the various things that are in the table that I'm going to create. So the first column, we are going to put serial number. In short, I will just write SNO for serial number. Then I press a button called tabs to move to the next column. And in this column, I'm going to write item description. Then the third column, I'm going to show you can see the second column the words cannot fit in the column B so what I'll do in order to expand I can expand it manually or I just click between column B and column C when the cursor draws I mean shows that sign I just double click and it expands you can see it has expanded to accommodate you can also move it with the mouse you can move it to the size you want or you just automatically auto size it resize it so column c we are going to put number of items found in grade four then you can also see it cannot fit so in between column c and d i double click to expand it then i move to column d I write number of items found in grade 5. Found in grade 5. I also click to expand it. Then finally, I put the number of items found in grade 6. I can copy this. I can just copy. And then I click on column E and then press enter then I double click to expand it so now those are the columns that I'm going to use in this table 
then on the serial number we are going to put one then I press enter two three four five six seven eight we have eight items that we are going to put then when you come to item description the items that we are going to keep record of are the number of desks just type desks in column B press enter then chairs enter tables then chalkboard <coughs> chalkboards then we have dusters then we have textbooks then charts and finally rulers so these are the items that we want to keep a record of in our table so in grade 4 according to my table we have 25 desks in grade the same grade 4 again we have uh, 30 chairs we have five tables we have two chalkboards in grade four we have one duster we have 135 36 textbooks then we have 55 charts and we have two rulers in grade four so i've fed the items in grade four then i come to grade grade 5 we have 30 desks we have 35 chairs we have uh, six tables we have one chalkboard sorry we have two chalkboard then we have uh, one duster we have 145 textbooks just press enter after you write we have 65 charts and we have two rulers then the number of items found in grade six i did not adjust this one this is supposed to be grade six then we have 40 desks 45 chairs we have 10 tables we have four chalkboards we have one duster we have 245 textbooks we have 78 chalkboard i mean charts then we have four rulers blackboard rulers So now after putting the data like that, I want us now to have another column called column F, which is going to show the total. So just put a column called total here. And in this column, this is where I will calculate, I will use formula. The spreadsheet has a way of calculating formula instead of doing it with a calculator or manual. We can be able to calculate any formula in a spreadsheet and in a, that is in excel so i want you to follow the simple steps that i will show you so that you can know how to know for example i want to calculate to show the number of desks which are in grade 4 grade 5 and grade 6 so my formula should be able to add 25 30 and 40. so the first thing that i'll do is to click where i want the total to be the formula to be inserted and that is on that column column I mean uh, cell F4 so I want the formula there so this is where I'm going to type my formula and the formula will show the number of desks that are in grade 4 grade 5 and grade 6 that is a sum of desks in grade 4 5 and 6 so in order to do that you need to know where are the items that you want to calculate 
uh, for example we have desks in grade 4 are in cell C4 desks in desks in grade 5 are in cell D4 and desks in grade 6 are in cell D E4 so my formula will start getting the sum from C4 all the way to E4 that's why I said uh, knowing the cells is very important. So my formula will show the sum from C4 all the way to E4. So when I come to where the total is, now this is where I want you to follow. I'll just go slowly by slowly. This is where I write the formula. So the formula will be saying, I will write, I will type equals sum, then put brackets, then because I want the calculation to start from cell C4, I write C4, then up to, and when you are saying up to, in Excel, you use the colon. So I press shift and press the colon. So meaning C4, cell C4, and you can see already it has highlighted C4, showing that's where it will start calculating. Up to, so up to E4. And you can see it has selected C4, D4, and E4. So when I click enter, this formula will be, it will give me the, uh, the right total. So before I click, I just close the bracket and then press enter. And even if you use a calculator, you'll find that the total of the deaths in grade 4, 5, and 6 are 95. Just to make sure that you have understood, I repeat the same thing for chairs. So for me to calculate the number of chairs in grade 4, 5 and 6, I need to know where these items are. So they are in cell C5, D5 and E5. So my formula, will I just click here where I want the formula to be. So I say equals sum and no spacing. Then I open brackets, C5. Remember I've told you up to is colon. So I press shift and press colon, up to column E5. Then I close the bracket and then I press enter. So if you calculate, you'll find that the number of chairs in grade four, five, six are 110. Again, I repeat for tables until I want, until you understand what I'm doing. Because once you get one formula, you are, there's a shortcut you can get the others, but it is good that I repeat until you get this. So to get the number of tables, I just click where I want the formula. Then remember the tables are in cell C6. You can see that it's C6 up to E6 up to there. So when I click here where I want the formula, I will say equals sum, open brackets, C6, sorry, C6, up to, which is a colon, up to E6. Then I close the bracket. Then I press enter. Then I believe with those three I've shown you there, you will be able to calculate the remaining. And then uh, once you have calculated the first one, now the rest, the remaining, it's not a must now, you keep on calculating. Uh, what you do is you just click on, for example, click on the total for tables, and then towards on the bottom right of the, of the cell, you can see this small dot. Just click on that dot, then hold with your mouse, and then you drag down. It will keep on, it is now copying the formula to the remaining items. So it will copy the formula for chalkboard, dusters, charts, and the rulers. So everything now, we have found the total. So once we have finished this, we need to put what we call borders. Because if you try to print the way it is now, you'll find that um, there will be no borders. It will just be plain. So to put the borders, you just click where the table starts, that is on serial number, column for serial number, you drag, you drag until the last item, then 
above here above font you can see where it's written font you can see a small table that is drawn and when you bring the cursor there it reads bottom border so you click the arrow just next to it and then you choose all borders you scroll down to put everything in borders so all borders and you can see it has put everything in borders so there are lines which are separating to make it look like a table then the other thing we can do is to make the heading that is the topic to look like a to look more neat and more organized so we try to format and what we are going to do is we are going to click on column a where bd primary school starts then we drag the cursor we drag the cursor all the way to the end of the table and then we come here where it's written alignment then above it you can see merge and center you click on that so the heading comes at the center then we can also click on b which means bold you make it more bold and then you can also increase the font it's in size font 11 so we can click there to increase the font like font 16. we do the same to class inventory record you just click where it's written class where it's written class then we drag without releasing the mouse all the way to the end of the table then we go to alignment then above alignment you can see merge and center you click on merge and center then after that we make it bold click b then we also click on the font size to make it bigger uh, when we come to the heading where we have serial number item description number of items in grade 4 grade 5 grade 6 and the total we select all of them we make them bold make them bold and then when we come to the column showing the item description you just select those items and then you go above alignment you want to put the alignment either to the left or to the center or to the right for me i prefer when they are on the right for easy reading so i put them on the right so that they be if you put them on the left they'll be like that they'll move to the right side of the column if you click center that's how they will be so i prefer for me i prefer when they are on the right then for the serial numbers one two three you just select all of them then you can put them center if you want you can increase the size the way you want it to be so we can also increase the size of the others we select all of them and we make them size maybe size 14 i think it's much visible everything 14 then we also make them to be centered yeah and there we are and then on the total because these are totals we need to be highlighted so we just select them and we make them bold to appear more bold so the voice for easy reading so that's a simple way of preparing a class inventory to show the items found in the classrooms thank you very much and in the next lesson i'll be able to show you more because there's a lot to learn in spreadsheet and especially in this excel don't forget to subscribe comment and like